Hey everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. I want to do a couple more videos on grills, registers, and diffusers. This week I want to talk about different lay and ceiling types and how you install diffusers in them. So let's get started. Most commercial construction uses lay-in ceilings. If you look up right now and you're in an office, you'll most likely see a lay-in ceiling. It consists of a 2x2 two two or 2x4 two grid system that the ceiling tiles and diffusers just lay into, hence the name. Not every manufacturer's lay-in ceiling grid looks the same. There are several different types of lay-in ceilings, and the type you have determines the diffuser border you need to install in it. Let's start with a standard lay-in ceiling. Looking at the profile of the grid, it just looks like this. The ceiling tile would lay on this section, and then the edge of the diffuser back pan would lay on this section. So this is a standard lay-in ceiling. It has a 15 16 inch wide T. The ceiling tile and diffuser lay flush with the grid. You can also have a drop face diffuser. In that case, it's designed for the tile and the diffuser to lay below the ceiling grid. So it looks like this, where the tile drops down a little, and so you have to pick a diffuser that will also drop down by the same amount for this to look right. Let's move this over to the side. Next, we have narrow T ceilings. These are more popular in the Northeast US, but you never know when you might run into one. The narrow T grid is 9 16 inch wide. It can be a flat T like this, which often has tegular ceiling tiles that drop below the grid to minimize the visibility of the grid. And the diffuser would also have to drop down, similar to the way a drop face diffuser drops down, but the dimensions will be slightly different because the width of the T in the ceiling grid is narrower. You can also have a bolt slot ceiling grid, and it looks like this. Again, it's 9 16 wide, but the diffuser and the ceiling tile will sit below it. In some cases, this is called a Don Fine Line ceiling because that is USG's name for it, and it kind of caught on. Next, there's a reverse bolt slot ceiling. It looks something like this. And again, the ceiling tile and diffuser would sit on it kind of like this. Let's bring everything back on screen so you can see it all. There's also just many special ceiling types that you'll see by different ceiling manufacturers, but these are the most common ones you see. It is important to know what type of ceiling grid you're installing your diffuser in, because like I said earlier, the different dimensions of the ceiling grid T's which are define what type of border you need on the diffuser so that it installs correctly. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.